I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I look like a mess. It's very early in the morning. It's 7 a.m. and I'm getting ready for the work. I need to be out in 50 minutes. I hope, hope I can finish my makeup look by that. But I wanted to sit down here today and try products that TikTok made me buy. Yes, <laughs> I've seen this NYX Marshmallow Primer everywhere on TikTok. It's supposed to do so beautiful stuff, make your foundation stand, stay on, make you look smooth, beautiful, like a filter. It should smell like marshmallows. I don't know, it promises a lot. And um, it says use alone or with foundation. Of course, I'm going to use it with a foundation and I'm going to put the price and the information here on the screen so you can see that. I won't talk for long because you've already heard about this product. Maybe you're curious to hear my thoughts. I also am going to try the sponge. <laughs> this is so cute. The marshmallow sponge came in this packaging just like a real marshmallow, but it kind of expanded. Not a double side, but expanded a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but there is a, a heart, like a heart stamped here. I don't know if you can see it kind of is, let me see on the side. Maybe you can see a heart, that's really cute. I don't know why I just smelled it, but it's really cute. It feels soft, so it matches my nails too. It wasn't intentional. But um, I'm going to use the sponge. For the foundation, I'm going to use my Catrice foundation. It's because I know how this works. I know how this sits on my skin with other primers. So I've been using it for years and I just love this foundation. So I'm going to go with that. Let's start with the primer because I already moisturized my skin like 10 minutes. Oh, what did I do? I just... There you go. I don't know. Let's take a small amount. I don't know how much to apply, but maybe this much. Oh, it smells marshmallows. Oh, it smells very nice. Ooh. Oh, it feels good on the skin. It feels very moisturizing. I don't know if you can see any difference. I can't really, but it feels very nice. Actually, I can't feel it on my skin if I have to be honest, but it's not, it's not tacky, just a little bit, but not, nothing major. Like those gripping primers, it's not, nothing like that. It sank into my skin very fast. It feels very nice on the skin. It smells also good. It's not too powerful. It's the scent is not too po or overpowering or what? It, if, I don't know if I said that right, but it's not too strong, so it doesn't bother me. Just that nice, sweet <laughs> scent. Okay, so let's go with the foundation. I'm going to. And then put on this. I kind of like how this primer feels. I didn't go in with other primers. If you know me, I go with like three, four primers. Oh, I forgot the primer on the for my under eyes. I'm just going to can you need this? I don't need to go with my under eye primer. Sorry, guys. This is my backhand. Otherwise, my under eyes are going to look like hell dry. I just take a small amount, but this like a magic under my eyes. I got this from my friend Valerie in our last box swap. It was on my wish list, and she bought it for me, and I was so excited, and I love it, love it. Took a little bit more of the foundation. This sponge is so soft. I really like this sponge. I didn't thought that I would. But I really like this sponge. It's easy to hold and control. Oh, and this foundation looks right now like a filter. Even if I haven't finished it up, it looks very nice. On my eyes, I do have the Colourpop and um, Caitlin Light Jaded Palette. So I've been blending not for long and 
everything looks very nice and very smooth on my skin I just love it it really looks my skin looks very very nice now my pores are less, still visible but not as much as usual I don't know if you can see them I don't have any filter but it looks very natural so I'm going to go and finish the makeup look and then we'll go back and try this Bambi oversized eye mascara from L'Oreal okay guys I'm back now this is the final look I really like how this primer and foundation right now since on my skin it kind of made my skin look a little bit more smoother the, everything else went very nice on top now i'm going to go in with the mascara so far i'm really liking the liking the primer very nice today i'm going to try this mascara i do have another mascara too to try from l'oreal and it's the air volume so that if you want to see that let me know or subscribe is going to come up on my channel but i also want to try before i go in with this the new nyx what it's called uh, liner stick eyeliner stick and it's in the shade it says epic queer i don't know what kind of shade it's short reduced i can't really read it without my glasses and i'm going to put the name down here so you can see that but it's this nice go yellow gold shade kind of goes with my makeup look i'm going to use that because i do have this kind of pencil from other brands uh, i think also i had from l'oreal if i don't or isadora which they're kind of a little bit too hard to use so i also bought from Kara cosmetics which is the nude one that one is wonderful but they only had that shade so let's see I can't use this so let I need to go closer there you go can't really see it a lot but when I kind of look in different different angles you can see it you can see it a little bit in my waterline this shade is very nice but it's not too pigmented but I kind of like it and I do have other shades also to try out uh, you just pick them up I have a couple more, more shades that I was excited of getting so let's try the mascara i'm going to curl my lashes my hair looks like a disaster look frizzy today i washed it last night and i yeah, blow dry, dry it and i usually let it dry by itself but i did didn't have time to wait last night and it looks like a mess and we mess we are going to work today okay um, I tried it kind of the packaging kind of reminded me it's not exactly the same but the Rhyme Miyokai Cosmetics new what's it called Space Intense Mascara I hate the brush the brush is too big it's oh my god I don't know if you've seen that video I have that video on my channel and uh, the mascara itself is very nice but look at this one look this is even bigger than better than sex mascara or from Too Faced or the damn girl from Too Faced, which I really liked. So let's go in with this Bambi. Oh, this this is interesting, really interesting. Okay, I like this size a little bit more for my eyes. My, my camera stops filming every time, every two minutes. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, wow it separates my lashes but also curls them <laughs> really nice there is other mascaras that also are viral on TikTok but I have one of them on my wish list from my friend Valerie so I didn't get that I think it's the May Maybelline Sky mascara so I'll see if I have it on if Valerie got it for me if not I'm going to buy that but I didn't want to buy I already have so many mascaras to use and uh, to try so I didn't want to you know get one that maybe I will get in that package but I'm kind of curious to try that okay this is one coat 
and it really looks so nice. Now my eyes eyeshadow is a lot, little bit dark today. Uh, you could definitely see it. Oh, girls on TikTok used no eyeshadows or they used very light eyeshadows and now though you could see their lash, lashes really you know stand out. Now I'm going to work and I do need my, something on my eyes and I felt for green today and gold so let's go with the second coat and see if we can build it up. Oh well definitely though it starts kind of gather gathers the eyelashes together and give you that uh, clumpier effect which I like a little bit too much maybe but give me a little bit heavier mascara so I'll try to go in with just a clean spoolie and brush it out a little bit so okay this is the mascara I really like it I like when the when mascara kind of gathers clumps a little bit I like that effect especially on my hooded eyes right now let's see it's 725 and I'm going to go on with my day and I'll do a check-in after a whole day of work and tell you guys how this hold up so see you soon hi guys welcome back now it's let me show you what time it is so you believe me 5:22 p.m. and um, I'm back from work let's take off my glasses this is how my face looks I do look shiny a little bit oily I haven't touched up or do, did anything I just look at me a shadow I just arrived home and I'm kind of tired I want to take off my clothes and wash my face but let's talk about the mascara first my eye my mascara it did flake a little bit here and here but nothing major feels like it did transfer a little bit down here on my under my eyes but I mean it's still fluffy it's still big it's still there uh, smudged a little bit down here I don't know I'll try this again I'm not 100% I like the effect I just uh, it's cute Bambi <laughs> I like the effect how my eyelashes look long and thick and it looks beautiful I just I think it looks beautiful but it flaked a little bit not too much but it's still there and it transformed down here now I did have dark eyeshadow under it so I'll continue to try it but I'm not really I think it transformed a little bit I can see mascara here and here I mean it's not bad bad but oh well I've seen worse but I'm not 100% happy with it so I'm going to continue using it maybe at home but not really going to go to work because I, I love the brush I just feel I love the effect I just feel it did transfer but I do have very oily skin or barely very oily t-zone the primer I love it I really really love it my foundation is still there it does look shiny a little bit my oils came through but still it's been since 7 in the morning and now it's let's just say how long it's been like 10 10 and a half hours and it still looks pretty good so I'm kind of happy with the results I really really like this primer my it, my foundation is still on my nose everywhere it's still on my chin uh, I can't see that it went off usually it does wear off on my chin but nope it has not done that everything else looks to looks really really nice so I do really like this foundation not foundation the primer I'll definitely continue using it I do to really enjoy it really good pri primer really good primer now the the sponge I haven't cleaned it so it doesn't look very clean it's I love the sponge I really like the sponge I think sponge is wonderful it's easy to apply the foundation it's cute it's nice it looks like marshmallow um right now it looks like marshmallow dip in chocolate or something like that but <laughs> i do like it i do, i'm very happy with the primer and i'm very happy with the sponge not really happy with the um, with the mascara now the eye pen is still there in my waterline i don't know if you can see it. the gold is reflecting it's not 
it's very shimmery it's kind of shimmery gold it's not very opaque or bright so you can see it a lot but i can still see it in my waterline which is i don't know if you can see it now here it maybe looks disgusting but <laughs> it's gold it's there which i really like so i'm definitely going to try the other shades that i have and i have other things to try out but i'm very happy with that purchase and i think uh, the hype it's real the hype is real it looks very nice guys let me know down below if you try this primer or excited to try it let me know down below what do you, did you try this mascara too what do you think about it um just let me know down below your thoughts i love to read your uh, comments and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and i see you in my next video i love you all bye